Hey guys, John here. Today's profit patch is called the Chainsaw, and as you might notice, this is kind of similar to Mind of Dissonance, except we're doing a little bit more and going about it in a different way. So with that being said, over here on the arrangement, this is going to come in at bar five, and yeah, I was kind of in a creepy mood making this, so uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it here. So basically with the Mind of Dissonance and with the Chainsaw, we're kind of just going for a really dirty analog sound. And there's a couple of different approaches to this and they always kind of sound nice with arpeggios. So if we turn this off here, it would sound something like this. <laughs> So even just kind of holding down that note, it just has kind of a nice ring to it. Okay, so let's get into this here. Let's go to our advanced section and let's turn off our effects here and let's dive into the oscillators. So the first one here, we're gonna be going down one octave, so 12 semitones, we're using a saw wave and a square, and we're also changing the pulse width to 80.7%. And then for the second oscillator, we're also going down an octave or negative 12 semitones. And then for the fine, where it's gonna be negative 0.216 cents. Now we're going to be using a saw wave and again a square wave and then changing the pulse width for this one 85.5%. Now we're also going to be using the unison down over here, but no glide, so keep your glide over at zero. Now for the unison, it's not going to be as detuned as Mind of Dissonance was, but we can still get that vibe even though we're not going to be detuning that much. That much. So in this case, it's going to be 1.56 for the detune, and our unison is also going to be 5. So we don't get it too dissonant, not too detuned, but we're still getting that just that grin, that gritty kind of nasty analog sound here. And under this panel here for the voice dispersion, we're gonna be using the uh, preset number two. So the uh, mind of distance, I believe was number three. So we're not gonna be using it so far. So it's gonna be number two for this one now over here. Now for the mixer here, the first oscillator is gonna be 6.48% in the mix, number two, 6.08, and then for noise, it's gonna be 0 0.280. So with this knob, it's very easy for it to look like it's at zero, but sometimes just a little bit of noise can really go a long way for this. Now for our filter, the cutoff and the resonance is kind of standard for most of my patches. We're gonna have these on macros, and they're gonna be certain limited ranges. So generally reach for the macros down over here as opposed to going over here on the synth. Now for the envelope amounts, 2.44, and we're not going to have any keyboard tracking for that. Now for the attack, it's going to be one millisecond, decay one second, the sustain at one, and then the release at four milliseconds. Then for the amplifier envelope, the attack one millisecond, decay one second, sustain at one, and then the release is going to be a lot longer at 1.410 seconds. So almost a second and a half of release time. <laughs> Now, if you find yourself in the situation where the sound is starting to get a little bit cluttered with the ARP, maybe you want to kind of just release the uh, <laughs> release the release, you know, bring that down just a little bit so we're not cluttering our sound too much. So even right here, we're kind of in a good spot to really just spice things up here. Now, if you go into our advanced section, we're not going to be using any modulation over here. So kind of a simple patch. Let's go down over here to the effects and let's turn this on. So we have a chorus, so we have a reverb, and then we have the multiband. So if we turn this off, this is kind of what we were hearing. Now, this multiband is really awesome. So take a listen to the difference once this is on. It just sounds aggressive once we uh, turn this on here. kind of just hits it right in front of your face here. So 150 hertz over here, 2.5K over here. And as I always say, especially with the multiband, it's kind of up to your, up to taste, right? So over here, it's 1.81 over one. We're kind of just expanding this or bringing this upward here. This one, one over one, one over one. So you really have to use your ears for this one, kind of just move stuff around and really just feel like, what, what do you want your sound to sound like? Do you want a little bit more top end? Do you want some more low end? So on and so forth. None of these bars were really changed here. And yeah, it's a lot of it to do with experimentation. So the reverb comes right after this guy over here. You're kind of just bringing it to a big space. 
So the size for this year is going to be 1.08, the pre-delay 0 0.003, decay 0 0.460, damping 0.593, stereo width 0.364, input high pass 44 hertz, and input low pass 7,661 hertz. And then the dry wet again, if you look down over here, we have a reverb and then we have a chorus macro, so we can affect these effects here individually on the front panel. Now, the last effect here is going to be a chorus Juno 6, Juno 6 and it kind of just gives a little extra pizzazz. Now, for this setting here, the rate is going to be 0 0.400 hertz, depth 4.44, and the phase 180. And again, this dry wet's kind of arbitrary because it really depends on what we're doing for our macros. So really for this patch here, our macros aren't too complicated. If we go over to this advanced and then the uh, gear over here and select macros, we see that the cutoff is on the filter frequency, which is this guy down over here. So as we move this, that one wiggles as well. And then same deal for the resonance over here. And if, we, and if you notice here, this is kind of important too, because once we turn this resonance up all the way to one, it's really not going that high. It's really ending up at 1.90. So that kind of, that's kind of set up in a certain way because the more resonance we add, obviously we're going to get that resonance peak, but we're also going to be losing some of that low end. In a patch like this, I didn't really want that low end to be thrown away, but we do kind of want a little bit of that resonance sound. So that's why it's kind of, there's such a limited range here if you're ever wondering about that. Now for the chorus here, all the way down to the bottom, obviously we're not going to have any chorus here. And then all the way at the top, it's really going to set it to 0.224, 22.4%. If we hover a mouse over here, 22.4, once it pops up there, yeah, 22.4. And then last but not least, we have our reverb. And then all the way to the bottom, we're going to have no reverb. And all the way to the top, it's going to be kind of a little bit here, 25.2 or 0.252. So yeah, those are the macros here. And it, it might be a little confusing because we have chorus for number three and reverb for number four. And they're kind of backwards here. But uh, yeah, don't let that bother you if that does for some reason. But yeah, so that is the chainsaw. I kind of wanted to end the week on something a little bit more aggressive because we started it off so velvety and smooth and creamy and all that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's refresh here our chainsaw. Let's play this out. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. So here we go, the chainsaw. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.